Yeah, right. They got me. Perfect. Have fun, guys. Got me signed up for that. All righty. Uh, control wise, did you ride any of Chiefs yet? No. All right. So it's pretty much the same as, as like the new. Uh, well, I, I, the new bearing. I rode the Chief Vintage, which is not the same at all. No, definitely, definitely different than those guys. So um, controls are really going to be the same as, as like the Challengers or any of the 21, 21 guys. <laughs> um, biggest thing, your ride command is just just smaller on it. So power button starter cruise control music there's no speakers but if you had it hooked up to, to your uh, headset or anything like this, all right there yeah. blinkers right there horn lights two gauge screens on there for you just swipe between those right there okay pop over here it's gonna get you to your three ride modes on it okay just same thing as your bike tap it let off it'll reset you get right back yeah mine actually doesn't have the ride command mine's a 16 oh yeah which is, I'm fine with that. I don't need it. Yeah. I mean, it's a great bike and the price was right. There you go. Well, have fun. This thing, it's a, it's a little mini, mini Roadmaster at the end of the day. So, All right. you have a good time. Okay, so I am on the Indian Chief. I have not ridden the Indian Chief before. It's uh, one of the Indian bikes I haven't ridden. Hopefully I don't get rained on. Picks up speed quicker than the Roadmaster. I say it's the same same engine as Roadmaster, but just a but a lot lighter bike. So right now I've got this in. I've got this one in uh, normal mode. Uh, I'm probably not going to put it in sport mode because the roads are still wet. And I'm not going to put it in rain mode because I'm not riding real aggressively. So I'm just going to leave it in standard mode. Also on these... Uh, a difference between this one and, and uh, mine, mine's a 16, is the new 20, uh, the newer Indian motors, they have rear cylinder deactivation, and so when, after the engine's warmed up, the rear cylinder deactivates at a stoplight so that they don't get as hot. And I can attest that the Indians do get pretty warm if I'm sitting at us in traffic, especially uh, slow moving traffic where I have to uh, hold the rear brake, then my right leg gets pretty hot. But yeah, this one, uh, this one's got the rear cylinder deactivation. So it's also this one's probably not going to get as as hot as the Roadmaster just for the fact that yeah, there's more air blowing through it because there's no fairings, or maybe a mistake, and maybe it might. Maybe that doesn't make a difference, but it would seem to me that it wouldn't get as hot because of the, there's no fairings. I have the R18s up in front of me. I rode one of those yesterday. Yeah, this would be an awesome uh, 
that round town bike. It even has cruise control and I haven't tried out the cruise control but it's got it. Then clutch is kind of adjusted weird which is not a problem with the bike. It's just uh, I like the clutch to release sooner. They've got it so that it's almost all the way out before it releases and, and I don't particularly like that. That's the way the Challenger was set up too that I rode and maybe that's just how Indian does it now but I, I would be changing that. I like it to release more like the two or three not like the uh, four or five you know. Say the same thing I did about all the other bikes I rode. I like bike. I kind of like it that this one has floorboards instead of pegs. Uh, floorboards I think are a lot more comfortable. I used to not think I would like floorboards until I tried them and then now I love them. Also this is forward controls and uh, I'm a lot more comfortable with four-way controls. I think if you're, uh, uh, you know, if you're just looking to to have a bike to go around, does this have a rear seat? Yes, it does. Okay. So if you're just looking for a bike to go around town and go to the restaurants and go to the bars and maybe even a daily commuter and an occasional trip, this would be a great bike. If you're looking to, uh, if you're looking to do cross-country trips all the time. Maybe not so much. Because that's that's not what it was designed for. It's like uh, you can't fault a spoon for not being a knife. It does a perfectly good job as a spoon, but it wasn't designed to be a knife. And the same it goes the other way around. So this is a this is a fun a fun, reliable American made bike that you can you can use for yeah whatever you want uh, I'm not sure about this windshield yet I either I hope I think it's adjustable it looks like it's adjustable so but I think I would want it a little bit higher but I can't really tell until I get on the interstate. Uh, this is that really quiet exhaust. And if I had one this quiet, I'd probably be putting a new exhaust on it. Nothing wrong with this exhaust. I just, it's a personal preference. would need to be higher and you feel the wind so much more than you do on on the Roadmaster but like I say I, I this isn't a comparison between the between the uh, Chief and the Roadmaster this is just a test ride of the Chief and my initial thoughts and it is a it is a great fun bike but uh, if I if I were to own a Jeep if I were to own a Jeep what I would do I would I would put a higher windshield or adjust this one higher. I, you know, I'd like it to be like here and not like there.
was it? It was good. It's uh, definitely notices that yeah, definitely notice the weight difference with the same engine. Right, right. Also, you notice the wind a whole lot more. Yeah, you're missing those lowers and everything that you got on your, your road glide there for sure. Right? 